Right, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, in this Python tutorial we're going to be going over um, dictionaries, which is another form of lists. Um, these ones are a little bit, or quite a bit faster than lists in the way that they, um, in the way that they gather, get the information for you when you search uh, massive lists. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and define a list, a uh, dictionary. So for defining a dictionary, you go ahead and you actually have to define it with curly brackets rather than the square brackets. Um, now referencing from the list, um, you reference um, with square brackets the items. So if we go ahead and here and want to add a name to our dictionary, say we wanted to add mine, um, we'd do it this way. And then we could go print D. And so this would apply to the key uh, name, as I'll show you. And as you can see here, it is assigned the name Stanley to the key name. Now we're going to be coming back to this later, as um, we want to add, li make big lists of, say, we want to create s specific objects and stuff. Say, so we can go ahead and also delete from the list. So Dell. Um, D, oops, square brackets, remember, name. So what that's going to do is it's going to remove the item with the key name. So it will delete Stanley from the list and remove, obviously, the key name. There'll be nothing in the list. The list will now be empty. Um, another way we can do it is we can go del.clear, and that removes absolutely everything from the dictionary and makes it empty. Alright, so that's pretty much the beginning of uh, adding an item to the list, adding, um, deleting an item from the list, or emptying a list, or, sorry, a dictionary. Um, we can go ahead and we can do something else now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to write for i in range, um, say, 0 to 4. Yeah, why not? Um, and for that range, we're going to go a list, which is a square bracket. We go li dot append, li dot append, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go input. And we're going to ask the user to input a string, um, input name. Uh, plus the string of i, plus the closing for this, which is going to be that, oh, that, and we're going to do this for both of them. So this is going to create, we, what we're going to do here, is we're going to create an item in the dictionary, which is a list, and we can obviously refer to that in the standard way we refer to a dictionary item, and the standard way we refer to a list item. So, we can now go D, and we're gonna we're gonna assign it to the key I. So I will be one, two, three, four, whatever, you know. Um, and we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna have it two. So it only asks us for twice. Equals li. So it's gonna assign that list to the dictionary key of I. So whatever number it currently is iterating at past. So let's go down to the command line. And down here we can rerun this code. It'll ask us for our first input. Obviously we'd want to put a plus one, so I'll just say inter name one. Um, let's say Stanley. And um, the second one's obviously inputting a name, but we don't want it to be a name. So we'd say age we'd want it to be. So 10 say, and then something, and say 15. And so you'll see the key zero, it'll assign the list Stanley 10. And to key 1, it'll assign the list something 15. And now we can refer to individual items within this by going, say, print d0, um, 1. And so that will print out 10. Now, obviously, we'll have to rerun it. Um, so Stanley 10 um, something... 15, oh no, something, oops, uh, that's fine. So it outputs 10 because we're looking in the zeroth 
dictionary item, the key with zero, and we're asking for the second item because it's the first item in a list. So it's referred to pretty much the same as a dictionary, I mean a, a list, um, in this case. Obviously you can assign a name to any of the keys as well, you can assign strings, but it's easier to use a for loop to say iterate over it then, if it's a number. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this f all the items within this for loop because we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a dictionary one now. So we want to go ahead and go dictionary, or ditch, uh, curly brackets, and that's going to define another dictionary. Now obviously that dictionary is going to get wiped every time it re iterates over it, um, but that's fine. So now we want to go dictionary, add an item name, then we want to go dictionary, add an item age. Um, and so we want to go input, input a uh, name, oop, name, and then we want to go string of i, oh no that was right, plus one, and then input this last bit here. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this for the next line too. I just realized I forgot to put the plus in there. And so that means the plus is missing from there. And we can change this here to age. We also want to remove this so we can get it printing D. Now what we want to do is we want to add it to the D list. So we want to go D equals um, ditched because we want to add the dictionary item there. And we want to add it to the item value of I because we want it to have the key of the current iteration through the for loop so it stores it at one zero zero one two three four whatever however many however long you run your for loop for so now going down to our command line we can go ahead and rerun this say I want to input my name one Stanley say age 10 name two something and age 15 say so there you go, you can see that we've got our um, our zeroth key with the key age 10 name Stanley, age 15 name something, and it adds to the front of the list I believe, um, although unless it's number order, which the key numbers for 0 and 1 um, then are in order. Um, but other than that, that's how you add the items together. Um, this also means that we can do it pretty nicely for getting the items out of the list. So we can go ahead and go do a for loop for i in range um, length of d because you can iterate over the length of the object, um, the object or the the list. Still, it still it counts length by the amount of keys in the list rather than the amount of items stored in it. So that means that we can iterate. Say we put three items in the list. Oh, three keys in the list with 100 items, uh, say 33 under each, 99 items then, um, 33 under each, and there's three keys, it'll still count as three items in the list, even though there's 100 things stored in it, or 99 things stored in it. Actually, no, that'd be 102 things stored in it, including the keys, but nonetheless, the length of the dictionary is still three because it counts the number of keys. Um, so we're going to iterate over this for loop now. Um, we're going to go ahead and print um, D, and we're going to print the ith item of it. Um, now, that is going to be problem at it. No, it's not. No. Nope. <laughs> I was thinking wrong. Um, I was thinking it was going to start at 1, but no, it won't. It'll start at 0 still. So that's fine. Um, and obviously, a for loop doesn't run that last item, um, it skips the it doesn't run the last item so it could be three long but it'll only run twice because it doesn't run the third item it runs one a zero one two and then it finishes because that's counted three um, but anyway and we want to call say the name column in this 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 part and then we want a comma and end equals 
So that's going to stop it breaking the line on the print statement. So we can then go ahead and go print d i age. And that's going to print everything in the list on its individual line with its name and its item. Its name and its... <laughs> its name and its age. Alright. So, let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, we've got a name again, so Stanley. 10. Uh, something. 15. You'll see it outputs the list, which we've got 0, age 10, name Stanley. Stanley is the name, 10 is the age, as it's been outputted. That we've got something and 15, which is name something, and age 15 under number 1. And that is how you do dictionaries. Um, they're actually very useful. They'll sort a lot faster than, um, than lists. Uh, I found that out the hard way. <laughs> um, we had a project this year where we had to make an anagram sorter that sorted through 234,000 words. Um, and in doing it a list way, which is the way I originally did it, took, um, it was doing it at about a thousand per 10 seconds. So it took, and it took like under one second with a list. Oh, with a dictionary, sorry. So the dictionary is a hell of a lot faster than a list is, um, and so I definitely recommend using a list when where possible. Um, but I mean, lists are a lot easier to reference um, in regards to that with nested loops and stuff. But yeah, um, thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. All right, hello there, guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video. Uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that would be a great help to my channel um, if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making um, and yeah hope to see you in the next